Okay, welcome back. I'm sorry for the um, delay of this part two. Um, I've been um, dealing with some things that uh, might help my family out. So I had to take care of it. It took a couple of days, but hey, that's okay with me. All right. We're going to head back to our wonderful city here, city of North Highlands. And the last time we, um, we were here, we... We were, um, we were dealing with, um, the city growth, the mining, um, we had our, um, safety department all the way in, besides the, the part for the, um, the city hall, that still needs to be put in, and we were making over $20,000 just off a of trade alone. So, let's see what our city looks like and see what we can do to get it to grow even more and get to the next couple of phases. Um, the next couple of phases is basically turning that raw ore and, the, and also the um, coal mine, the coal from the mine, into alloy. Alloy is going to give us a whole heap and a lot of money. And this is a straight fact. This is what it's going to do for us. And, all right, so let's see here. Let's see what's going on here. Well, well, one, we're kind of slow, which is fine. We're going to press three and get that going. Um, we can upgrade our city hall. So let's go ahead and get that city hall of ours upgrade, upgraded. Um, I, I literally suggest that we get our Department of Utilities in right now because we need to do this. Um, as soon as possible for the simple fact that um, we are going to need them to take care of all this and all that. Now, this is my suggestion. You don't have to do it this way. But we're going to stick them right on over here. We're going to make a wonderful bridge right here just like that so now we can put all that in so first we're going to put in the sewage plant so we can get that going now if you can tell we, we um, where we're putting this this is the best spot I do suggest that we put two of these in to um, compensate for the um, for all of it and because we are going to destroy these so like I said in the first first video I said that we we're going to be destroying a lot of things I was not kidding because when I say destroy you're going to destroy Um, next, let's see here, can we put it in? I think we can. Yeah, we can put it in. Okay, I suggest this. Put this on slow. The reason why it's going to slow all this down right here. We're going to start, we're going to take most of these out. Because where we're going to put the water is right here. So that way we can um, have as much room as possible. Now, I do suggest that you do about the third dot on the facing of the um, the road that's linked to the avenues. If you use the third dot, you can you put in a larger um, processing um, unit for the pump for the water pump station. So that way, you know, it's going to take care of all that for you. Once you have it all the way in, take out the last remaining um, ta water towers and then let let it ride. Let the money come right back in because you're going to need it f when, when we get really going. Um, let's check out on our bonds. Our bonds are almost out. We can actually buy them out right now, which would be nice. 
and it's only thirty thousand one hundred and eighty-three dollars. Well, let's go ahead and do it. We don't need them anymore, and we already aren't making money. We're making three hundred and forty-one dollars an hour, and that since we got this going, this is going to help the population out. If you can tell, we're already growing some more. We're already over eight thousand. Um, our next upgrade for the city hall is at 15, which is nice, but it be it, we're doing great. We can put our library. I suggest we put a library in right behind the elementary school because that would be a nice spot, you know, s localized for everybody to find. And we're still growing. We're whoa, we're getting some towers way out here. And now with the remaining ones right here, the remaining three, these are um, two of them. One's going to be for your college, your community college, and then two more of these are going to be, one or two of them are going to be for your high school um, as well. So it's like whatever the last one is going to be, you can use it as a residential spot, which will be a nice idea, you know, help out your city. Um... Let's see where we are. Oh. Huh, it's right there. We're at 9700 and still growing. We're getting $187 per hour. And we're, we're getting back up there. Um, I want to show you guys something. This guy right here is $60. This is the one you really want to want for your city. And I'm not kidding. Um, for the simple fact that it's going to help you out. Now... Oh, we're having a tornado. How lovely. Uh, I do suggest you put a, your mayor's home, kind of corner, sort of kind of corner from where your city hall is. And she, it, the tornado is going up the, the riverside. So far it's not dead. Oh, never mind. Just went right into a commercial area. And it picked up a house. And destroyed it. Stuff like this does happen on this game. That's kind of sweet. So let's go ahead and take care of all of that. And hope that we get money back. Looks like we're healing, which is great. Awesome. The mayor's house has been approved. And let's see how our elementary school is doing here. Oh, they're maxed out. Let's put one in to help out. Uh, the elementary school just grew. Speed this back up to cheetah speed. Now, um, when when we get the smoldering plant in, and I'm and I'm serious here, um, we're going to be able to put in maybe two or three. I suggest two. He put three in, but two is basically what all you'll need, and so. I suggest you do that. Panic did a um, Panic Knife did a lot of different things, and if you can tell, I just I, I just put a road back here because if you put a road back here and block it off and then close it off right here, you can put commercial right here. You can put other factories in here, and you know you really u utilize the area on this island. Now, when we get up to here, when we take out the, uh, after we take out this coal mine, we're going to put a road right here, and um, put another road right here to help out, because our university is going to be here. We're going to be able to put some things over here, some houses and stuff right there. We're probably going to um, 
do some things with the dump and get that going. And so, you know, we, we got a lot of ideas going on here that we can do. Now, ooh, look at that. We have a dump one. Um, we're going to hold off on that. We're going to ask us later because, quite frankly, is. Um, we want to make sure that we can do it at the time that we he can give it to us. And we're building up pretty well. So we're going to go down into this. We're going to take this pump out. And we're going to substitute this one in for it. And there you go. Now that we got that in there, now this is what we're, I suggest we do. We go into here. Whoa, that dropped. Switch it to local on both trades. Fill it up, basically. Fill them up. Fill up the um, the base for the um, coal and or, or um, mines as well to, to their max by maxing them out. Once they're full, kick it back in. We'll shoot shoot back up to over. Um, shoot, we should shoot over two hundred thousand uh, simoleons, and then the real fun's going to start coming in because that's when everything is really going to start flying. Um, and so we're going to put some businesses over here. Now, um, I su this is another suggestion. If you want to make your citizens really, really, really happy with you, put in, uh, if you have the today, um, uh, City of t um, Tomorrow package, um, ex yeah, package, or I think it's actually an, a, a little service pack for SimCity from, um, for promotion, promotional things, put in these um, energy uh, Nissan Leaf charging stations right near City Hall you know so where people can like really get to them as fast as possible and and to make your citizens really 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 happy it, it, it does help and it's not much of a problem Ooh, it looks like our power is kind of down so we're going to add another. Alright, we got two of them now. Power's really good now. Yeah, 101 and a half megawatts. And now we're at... We can do another upgrade. Awesome. Let's see if he... Nope, he hasn't caught up with anything. The next thing he put in was the... Um, was the educational department, because you're going to need to do education. He put it right here. I actually like putting it on the opposite side of City Hall for the simple fact that, you know, engulf that one whole entire street with nothing but city hall stuff so that way it's like your city hall will have just its mandatory things and then on the other side you have your education department you know separate them as much as you can because otherwise it's it, it's gonna really weigh down on you and then on top of that you can start like building up other things as well so um and that's what we're doing. We're basically upgrading our city so we can get to certain levels to help it out. And we can put it in. So now this is your whole entire city hall. So we're at level 3 right now for our city hall. And it looks like our city is growing quite well. So let's go ahead and like upgrade the roads for right now. And we'll 
once that's all done, because this is the last upgrade you can do with your roads, you can bet that this is going to cost a lot. This is where it's all going to really start beginning to hurt. Because um, now that we're only getting about 1900 an hour, our city is still going to grow. But it's going to grow very quick because our city is going to utilize all its resources as much as possible. So, but like I said, this will be a good time to do the streets. And I did a, forgot a portion. done with this. And, by the way, <laughs> we do about six to seven different sections, which is nice, because it's not costing too much on us, but it is draining the bank. But at least we're getting it done. We're making sure that the city grows. Now, um, like I said earlier, Panic Knife did this a little different. I'm, I'm doing it different from him. But there is a lot of things that we are doing the same, like the way that we are um, building the city for one. But some of his things were like way different from mine. Like he put his dump back here, and I, I don't think that should be back there. It should be on the other side. Um, utilize basically, you want to utilize your area the, to the best of your of its ability. If not, you're gonna really mess it all up and and you're not going to be able to do what you really want to do with the city and that is have a lot of population and I always I always like to have a lot of population in my city because I like to make sure my citizens have work you know can do go to places you know but then on top of that you know build another city to help you out and that would help too now we're we're now we just broke 16,000 people here so we are actually doing really really good Okay, that's not all done. Oh, that's over 10 grand. Alright, let's see what we got here. Is that one full? Yes, you're full. Is that one full? That one's full. Alright, let's export this all out. Alright. 
do it. He's kicked in. The city is growing. And our funds are going through the roof. And so... I guess the game realized that we were making a little too much for the colon and um, raw ore, so they dropped our um, initial numbers, which to me I think is not fair, you know, we were doing great, but we still need to get the um, small drink department for the HQ, um, Metals HQ. And that's that's the two hundred thousand dollar thing. Oh, you know what? I um was reviewing the tape from the um from the first one. We forgot to um, fix some of the um the thing of the um places here. So, which was like totally weird. I usually don't forget. And so, we're gonna fix this. I understand he probably did it in two, um, um, videos. I actually combined his two videos on, onto my uh, YouTube account just to let you know. So if you want to watch the whole entire thing, it's about 46 minutes long. I have let him know that I did that, um, and I haven't heard anything back from him, and so, um, We'll see what he says. Well, we're 12,000 12, away. So we're getting it up there. 7,000. Man, we're racking it in. a suggestion make sure you have enough over before you put it in because trust me you're going to want to make sure that this thing is over now we're going to put it right next to the um 
mine right here, the raw ore mine, so that way they're sort of across the street, but in a canyon corner type of way. So it's like half of the small drain um, department, it's going to be like right in the middle. Now, do not do your... Uh, your engineering division nor the commerce division because if you put one in and you mess it up you're not going to be able to take it out and put the right one in you can only replace the one that you used and I'm this is serious you got to make sure you put the right ones in so the smoldering division is what we want let's pick this up so that way we can keep on making sure we get funds and that's the one See, this is the one you want to get. So we're going to go ahead and plant it in. So there it is. We can now we are now approved to do the small drain division, which is this right here. It's fifty-four thousand. We're almost there, but we just need a little bit more um, funds to um, to make sure to capitalize on the of what we have. We're about 13,000 away right now. And so, we're going to um, leave it here for now and then continue on to on part three. Oh, wait, maybe. We, well, I'll just put it in now. So that way you guys see what this looks like. I do suggest you put a gap. You see that gap right there? That little tiny gap? That's what we want. And that's what we're going to put in. Now, just to let you know, the alloy one, it's 36000 Okay. The, it, yeah, it's kind of expensive, but it is well worth it. We're going to put our trade depot in across the street from it. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. And we're going to attach the alloy. Um, ones in. So that way those are in. Now what he did, he only used like two trade department ones I thought that was kind of weird by doing that but I always want to make sure that I have as much leeway on everything um, so that way we can do what we can do now this is um, when you get this built go to the deliveries put it on export for th uh, for, uh, which is 43,326 that's going to help you out even with this with the coal and um, raw ore coming into you you're going to make fine we're going to put our first alley factor uh, furnace in to get that running let's speed this up Okay, so, like I said, these things are 36,000. We're 19,000 away now. And so, and we're making pretty good cash. We're not 27. We need nine. Let's see, are we, we're not getting anything there yet, but they're still hiring. So and that's what we want. We now need seven thousand, and we're going to put the when it comes up. The next one's going to go right here. So yeah, I know we don't have enough simoleons right now, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. With the amount of cash that was coming in right now for us, we're going to be making it, and I'm serious. Okay, we are now four hundred. Oh, we just got a, got it in. There you go. We got two of them in now. Let's see if the um, guys can kick in and get us going. Our citizens are happy, by the way. Now, the next small, the next smoldering factory, it's going to go right next door to it. So that way, it's like, boom, there they are. They go straight to this. And then we're going to be able to do our, um, what are they called? 
Oh, processors. Yes, that's what we want. We want our processors in next. And then, like he said, if you want to do, build like an, um, any of the great works, you're going to have to do, um, set up a different um, other things for it, which won't hurt you. So don't worry about it. But like an oncology is one of them. You can build that. That takes metal alloy and televisions. So you have to make sure you have your televisions already being produced by the time that can be accomplished. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to do anything with it. And so... It, it will help out. We're now at four and we're still trying to hire people. We got one more to do, and that's pretty much it. We're, the trade is well, well over 400, two, um, close to 200,000 a day, so which is really nice. What are we missing? We need people and we got sixteen thousand almost well, sixteen and a half thousand living in here. So what's going on? We need another it looks like twenty two thousand to get the last one in and that be completed. Now the reason why I have my um just let you know what the reason why I have my trade in on uh, trained on so that way you can tell what's coming up and everything so that we can see everything the way it lo should look like for your trade department. We need 10,000. And it looks like our coal mine's shut down for right now. We got some alloy, some raw ore. We still need some coal. Did we get coal? Yes, we got people working at the coal mine. Woohoo! Let's see if we can get that going. Now, they're going to do what. When, when this starts really going, they're going to be able to um, get this running. Now we got. Now we're getting the coal in here, and we're already producing some um, the product, which is the alloy, and it's going to give us forty-three thousand every single time. And the more we have, the better we are. And we just need six thousand to get to get this finished out, and then we're gonna quit for, in a couple minutes from now. Because I can tell you this: when 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 you get this going, when this gets going and everything, you're gonna. It's not gonna take that long to get this filled up. See, now here's our next shipment of coal for the fa for this uh, small drink factory. But we had raw ore come over here at the trading post because we didn't need any raw ore because we had enough. And so, which was nice. And there is our last one. So the, the, the small drink factory is full, is done. There's four of these. We are still making good money and that's the way we want to be we want to make sure that we're getting good money now the city yeah we haven't done much with it um there's barely any crime here which is good um health wise we need to um expand our health department or so we're gonna add an, an extra room that should help there we go not 16, so that should help that out. Um, I 
how are we doing on this? Two fires a day? That's not bad. Rest a day. Criminals rehabilitated. Alright, cool. So, we're doing pretty good on our safety department. And we can actually... Go ahead and call it quits for now. And leave it at that. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go ahead and give this, go ahead and quit this out and everything. And, and I'll do a part three tonight. And hope to see you then. Good night.